How's it going? As you can see, the sun is shining. It's Wednesday, and we are off to Wolverhampton. It's mad that we're doing a show on a Wednesday. How are you feeling about that with the sun and all that? Well, it's great. The summer's great for work because in the winter sometimes you're going out. It's dark, freezing cold. It's always anyone will tell you who drives for a living. Twice as hard driving at night as in the daytime. So I was showing Frank last night. We put a post up on Facebook saying where would you like Frankie to perform and there's been people all over the UK so we've literally just been sat here haven't we phoning venues booking shows in well we've been there. everywhere really I'd like to go you know we've done Scotland we were in Northern Ireland a couple of weeks ago Belfast and done a lot in the North East I'd like to go down uh, down south really uh, you'll laugh bit. at this someone was calling you a Lutz uh, Frankie's like a London cabbie he doesn't travel south of the river. <laughs> oh no, that's, I mean, we'll go anywhere. We've, we've been to Plymouth and Portsmouth. Ipswich. You know, Ipswich, oh, Great Yarmouth, Colchester. So we'll go anywhere, really. Yeah, so Wolverhampton, what's Wolverhampton like? Have you performed here before? Yeah, well, we're always down here, aren't we? We were down here quite a lot. We've done the Pake uh, Club. Oh, um, uh, in Walsall, of course, yeah. Yeah, you know, I mean, Darleston. Darleston, it's not Walsall, is it? It's close though. I'm sorry, well, Darleston's Wolverhampton. We've got great friends there, Gary and Lynn Hale. We've gone there for years, haven't we? Gary. Darleston, Gary and Lynn, if you're listening, and all the others there. It's just a great place to come in. It? Fantastic, and everyone's here in to see us. There's a great uh, boxer came along there, young lad. I believe he's a fantastic boxer. Um, ben, the future Whitaker. Great lad. And he was there with his dad and his uncle, he was a great man, so uh, there's some fantastic, lot of talent around there. You know, there's some great areas of Wolverhampton. And uh, I was down there at the Civic Hall a couple of years ago, done a show there. But uh, the great crowds there, and of course, I've got a very close friend of mine, Jack, uh, Jimmy, I should say, <laughs> who runs Jack's Bar in Wolverhampton. Got a try called in and see him tonight, it was not too late. We're just going to phone our mate Jimmy O now. Uh, I think when he's on camera, he's like like a watered down version of himself. Very controversial figure like myself. But when he's on, when he's, he's acting like himself, he is hilarious. So I'm going to try and catch him. In a funny mood, yeah. Yeah, saying some funny stuff. Let's see what he's saying. Don't tell him he's on the vlog. Hi, mate. Hi, mate. You're on live speaker with the two of us. Yeah. No, I have to like, yeah, I will. Listen, I'm just filming for Vice, I'm wrapping up now. Can I ring you oh, back, Charlie? Brilliant, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm yeah. just going to ask you how Vice was going. Give us a ring later, well, mate. Uh, Alright, I'll see you later. See you later, mate. Bye-bye. That's the good will to get him to say we're filming for Vice today. Showbiz, that, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Fucking hell. He's, film, he's filming for Vice about Brexit. What do you think about Brexit? What do I think? Yeah. I think Theresa May is a traitor and what she's done people voted nearly three years ago or three years ago 2016 to exit europe it was a free vote a referendum so the way things are going it looks like democracy is finished and washed up in this country it's becoming like a totalitarian state where the will of the people is being denied we wanted to leave europe we don't want anything to do with them but She's trying to blackmail us and blackmail Parliament into putting very unsatisfactory deals through Parliament where we were still under the jackboot of Europe and we don't want it. So my hope would be that we crash out of Europe in a hard Brexit uh, with a no deal. That'd be fantastic. Stand on our own two feet again, be our country, and uh, be one country, do our own trade deals with other countries. There you go, where's the wisdom from Frankie Allen right there? Would you ever stand as a politician? I'd like to, yeah, probably would. We're looking at this old train, I don't know what kind of like train it is. An old British train from like, what, over the 50s or something? Yeah. Well, I'll chat when you get in. Just give me a bell when you go onto the car park, and I'll, set, I'll come around and set you through the door. Top man, speak to you in a bit. Oh, see you in a minute, right, mate. Right, right, right. What you miss when you travel at night, just coming into Wolverhampton on the 8.5, about six miles outside Wolverhampton. Look at this lovely lake. You know that lovely, unbelievable lake, in there? The, the sunset. Yeah. Very similar to that where you live in, off Queen's Drive, innit? 
Oh, very similar one. Yeah. When the sun sets behind the Asda on Queen's Drive. Well, when I lived in Kensington, The views are breathtaking. I used to look out of my window, see the sun going down behind the end seat, behind the kebab shop, and you could see the smackheads fighting each other just over fact. the fibre. Wow. It was fantastic. You, just, know. you used to just gaze. Oh, I bet you could breath. gaze at that for days. And then the derelict Kensington Market, yeah. where you'd see <laughs> dogs walking around in packs with the tails up. I mean, you talk about Niagara Falls. You can't compare to that. Uh, you can't talk about. Um, Angel Falls in Venezuela, yeah. places that take your breath away. Seven Wonders of the World, the pyramids. Um, nothing can Please compare. Please leave the roundabout at first exit onto A4 for nine. I'm trying to get this fuck here, tell you. There's a telly here. It's not working. Nice setup though. What's nice doing? spread, you've been getting involved in the scan. Well, I'm looking at this. Is that USB? Is that new one? What do you think of the setup here? It's great. Um, people are starting to come in now. Sold out. He said he could have sold it out a couple of times, twice over. So I'm made up, it's going to be a great night. I just am interested in this Brexit thing, see what's going on on the news. But the TV in the dressing room is not working, so... I've got a mate day before, he keeps me up to date with anything political that's going on, so he'll ring me. I believe uh, Theresa May has given a speech at 8 o'clock. So I don't know whether she's going to resign, she should do. Just through shame, really. But uh, see what happens anyway, I'm going to find out what's going on later. But more importantly, the show will start about 8.30, I'm on for my first half. And uh, for a Wednesday night, I'm just so happy, you know, it's sold out. It's going to be a great night. Wolverhampton, right in the middle of Wolverhampton. Great people down here, and they've got a good sense of humour to be sound. It's in, in a dentist's um, fucking, um, with this big Saudi Arabian TV star. Yeah. It's mad as fuck, but I started talking about Fleurad and stuff. Like we got on the about water and things like that, and you know, they never showed it. I got paid for it. But uh, I used to clean my teeth with something called Miss Wax Sticks. It's like a special root from a tree. But I'm just yeah. sticking it. And, and, and they, you know, they want to see if they fucking if I can clean my teeth. If they actually work them sticks, you know what I mean? And the dentist. But mm. um, point being, like, they don't always fucking show everything. Mm. You know what I mean? Well, excuse me, do you think you had, you had your head above water? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I did, kind of thing. You know what I mean? At times I thought, what the fuck are you on about, lads? You know what I mean, to myself, lads? You know what I mean, lads? But, um, because I'm, I'm not a politician, yeah. you know what I mean? So, I, I, I enjoy being filmed and stuff like that, you know what I mean? It, it's, um, you know, it is one of them. Are, are you all set for tonight? Yeah, but what's the roughest area in Wolverhampton? That's it, that's the one I want, Tipton! Fuck it, how did I forget Tipton? Well, come on in now, well. Looks like a good night. You got tan on? No. Why are you asking on him, can't I? Sounds embarrassing. <laughs> Just come off for the second half, do you enjoy it? Brilliant. Uh, rough and ready crowd, but they were up for it, they were great. This bird was echoing me, I had a go at her. All this business, it was great, back and forth. And uh, I thought it was a fantastic audience, they were brilliant, they were great. Wolverhampton sound, great. <laughs>
You can go on a plan and you can toss off. <laughs> Boys, what a fantastic audience. And uh, thanks for turning out to see me on to Wednesday. But well, you've been fucking great. All the best. Top man, Frankie. Unbelievable. Enjoyed your night? Mate, amazing. Like a kid back for Christmas. One more sleep, two more. Amazing. Thank you, mate. So Frank, we're talking about uh, Ben Whitaker on the way down, weren't we? Uh, well, and it was the Tony here, Ben's dad. How you doing, son? You okay? But what happened was, we were at Darla School, I think it was on six months ago. That's right, yeah, yeah, yeah. We looked over and I said to you, didn't I? I said, I'm sure it's Ben Whitaker, Ben the future Whitaker. Yeah. Fantastic yeah. prospect of boxing, going to be the world champ. And uh, strangely enough, if you remember, Will, we worked with Tony Bellew about five, six years ago, and I said, this guy, I just can tell by his charisma, he's going to be a world champ. And the same as Ben, he's going to be a, the world champion. You can just tell. So, what did you think of tonight? Uh, he's brilliant. <laughs> Every time he comes down to these neck of the woods, I'm going to see him. You know, he, he's hilarious. Like I say, can't, you can't get enough of him. You know, he's the only thing is, look at the size of him. There's no way when I saw him, <laughs> I'm going to say anything. Fuck all. He's just got to walk over. I'm not that, I'm not that fucking stupid. But you called yeah, me could, could Shug Knight last time. I called him Shug Knight last time, yeah. yeah, yeah. But Shug Knight's got fucked up now, as you know. But um, look out for him anyway, and look out for his lad, Ben, the future winner to get the next world champ. Will. Mark my words. Saw it the last minute, and I just went out, and I just went past me short thing. So anyway, I, I grabbed him and had him in, in, in headlock. So wait for the doorman to come, nobody came. Smart, I've got the mic and all that. I shout, finish the fucking joke off. <laughs> 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 right down at Jack's Bar. Jack's Bar in Wolverhampton, fantastic place. As I said earlier on, on the earlier vlog, we were going to see Jimmy in Jack's Bar, which is named after his dad. Jimmy's a great guy, done loads of shows for him over the years. We always do the marquee, always chock a block. Fantastic audience down here, good lads. All the best. Nice to see you, Jim. Good to see you. Jack's Bar, centre of the universe. Fantastic place. Mainly Asian lads, few Caribbean lads. I'm not sure if I'm the only fella that was here. I'm the only like white lad that's ever been allowed in here. But they've never picked on me. They never kill me. Fantastic, great, great guys. Nice one, lads. Number one. Hi, ladies and gentlemen. I'm the regular um, guy in here. Frank is a good lad. Jimmy and uh, Jack's Bar. Make sure you come here. If you ever come to Wolverhampton, come to Jack's Bar. Anywhere the, in the uh, Midlands. Try the um, Indian food in the evening. Make sure you come here. I'm always here. Any single ladies, make sure you're welcome. <laughs> Frankie, There's you're loads here. of good looking lads in here. They're all like Indian film stars. Get down here. They're like Bollywood film stars. Bollywood star. Yeah. So uh, yeah. make sure you get down sure here. Get down here. Fantastic place. Jack's Bar. Jack's 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 if any agents are watching this, yeah. all you agents who said I was no good, who dismissed him, he said I was too blue, that I'd never make it, and there were far superior comedians and you wouldn't give me any work. Where are your fucking comedians tonight on a Wednesday night, sitting watching Coronation Street, where I've got a sold out show in Wolverhampton? <laughs> so do me a favour, fuck off.